Pisces. Hey, 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 hey. Your overall energy for the month of April, my Pisceans, is being in love. This could be you. There's some really loving, I am in love energy that's happening for the month of April for you Pisceans. Okay, somebody's using their intuition, somebody is giving you unconditional love, and relationships could potentially develop to a new level here. Pisceans, it looks like, I don't know, maybe somebody has learned from mistakes, maybe somebody is learning the error of their ways. And it's like you guys fight, you fuss, you fight, you fuss, you complain, you bitch, you moan. But somebody loves you unconditionally. There could be a third party situation here. And it's like somebody could just be waiting patiently for you to come out of that type of player mentality, player attitude, player ways. Okay. So it looks like there has been some type of unwise choice that was made in a situation where there was no winners, but just defeat could have been over multiple suitors for your lover, or maybe you have multiple suitors, but whatever the case is, whoever you're with, they love you. And our oh, Pisces, this could be you. It's like, you know, this person is a cheater and you, you know this. It's like you're not coming. You have been knowing this maybe for five years or for however long you guys have been dealing with each other. But um, it looks like the love that the two of you share for each other, you could be dealing with another water sign, a Scorpio, um, a Cancer, a Pisces, um, or you could be dealing with a Libra. Virgo, I mean Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It looks like that you two have a love for each other that despite, but the Five of Swords destroys love, okay? But it just looks like somebody loves you deeper than this air energy or this energy that came in to try to destroy what the two of you have. And I see you guys rapidly trying to build your relationship back up because both of you are... Um, actually in love with the other some of you want to relocate or travel or um, I think sometimes what happens is your partner Pisces you may be with the water sign okay you may be with somebody you may be with a cancer for instance and you know the crab doesn't have any vocal cords I don't know if you've ever opened up a crab before, but they don't scream. Like if you boil lobster, you'll hear them scream. Crabs don't have vocal cords, so sometimes it's hard, you know, for them to talk. Or um, I see all the elements so far, though, you know, just about. But anyway, so what happens is that somebody doesn't feel loved in this union, okay? And then they start to just... It's like, you are going to show me something. <laughs> so maybe they'll go out and get somebody else and maybe try to make you jealous um, to get a rile out of you so that um, there can be some type of rapid activity in the relationship. Maybe somebody just likes drama, okay? They just, they like drama and then they create drama so you guys can have something to fight about and get in the bed and start fucking. I just see cycles that it's just, it just really feels to me it's not going to be broken by drama. This bond feels pretty thick to me, but it does look like they're, um, I want to be as diplomatic as possible. <clears throat> hmm. It looks like you guys, it looks like there is an unconditional love for the character that um, both of you have. Okay. So I see you guys accepting each other this month. And some of you could be single and negotiating a relationship with someone with whom you're not quite committed to yet. 
Others, you could have an open relationship with someone that you care about. You guys both understand that, um, you know, um, maybe... Maybe you guys just have an understanding or maybe you allow your partner to have a certain level of freedom to flirt. Okay, so I see a little bit of flirtatious energy. Some of you could be with someone that you're not quite committed to, but you're in love with. You guys are in love with each other and you are negotiating commitment. Okay, but um You know, the Four of Cups just kind of talks about just kind of being disgusted by some of the behavior of your beloved, okay? So you're coming out of March into April, maybe just not feeling some of the things that your beloved has done, but still a little, you know, like you, somebody is in love, so it's not that easy to just you know, walk away when you've invested time, attention, and energy in this. So it kind of just kind of feels like this is what's happening. If you, if the arguing and the conflict and the five of swords energy doesn't stop, it looks like despite somebody loving you unconditionally, they're going to start really thinking about keeping their options open. Okay. Because someone is starting to really feel like somebody is getting reckless here. You guys could live together. You guys could have children with each other. There could be an age difference here. I do feel like I do see a lot of financial stability in this relationship. And I feel that you guys are trying to build something. Um, but it's like the behavior of somebody is really taxing the other person. And although they love you, you know, they're, they're getting tired of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this at Vimeo to see what are their present thoughts, what are their past thoughts, what are their future behavior is going to be, and what things can be done to change this, as well as what messages does your partner have to tell you. Okay, all right, see you at Vimeo.